Did you know you could be eating a food that could be beneficial for you, but for some folks, if they eat that food at the wrong time of the day, they could be doing more harm than good. So in this video, I'm gonna help you understand some foods you should avoid in the morning. This is really gonna be something for you to think about. TC Hill is not a doctor and does not claim to be a doctor or licensed in any type of medical field. Don't be an idiot and use anything heard on the show as medical advice. This information should be used for educational purposes only and you should contact your doctor for any medical advice. Now get off me. So it was Dr. Emmanuel Rivisi who helped us understand that the body has a natural circadian rhythm at the cellular level. During the day, the body should be in a more catabolic state where the body is very good at, at creating energy and kind of keeping us going all day, but also breaking down tissues so that those tissues can be rebuilt and the body can be renewed. And then at night, did you see what happened to that pen? We'll do that again. And then at night, the body should move into a more anabolic state. You're still thinking about that pen thing. But that's where the body should be at night, where it's very good at sleeping and resting and rebuilding and repairing. So you can see that we really need both of these states going on. We really want the body to break down so that it can be rebuilt and renewed. And the problem is that some people can get stuck in one of these states most of the time, or maybe they're just pushed too far into one of these states. And that can really create a wide variety of health issues. It's not just about, are you, can you sleep? Is your circadian rhythm working? There's a lot of things that you want the body to be able to do in this daytime catabolic state, and you want it to be able to complete all its functions that it needs to complete at night in this anabolic state. So when we're looking at eating foods and timing them to help that circadian rhythm, we want to look at the foods that might have a pro-catabolic effect or a pro-anabolic effect. And the reality is that most foods are going to be neutral for most people. They're not going to have an effect that pushes a person too far in a catabolic state or too far in an anabolic state. And we also need to look at the individual. If a person is dealing with an imbalance, maybe they're already stuck in this anabolic state most of the time, and then they're gonna eat foods that push them even more into that state, well, that's gonna be really problematic for that person. Where if a person is more balanced, and they're moving back and forth like they should, then some of these foods that we're gonna talk about might not have much of an effect on that person. So some people will be able to eat these in the morning and they'll be fine, whereas somebody else might be creating real trouble for themselves. But in either case, if you can understand that it's very beneficial for the body to be in this catabolic state during the day and this anabolic state at night, if we can eat in a way that really helps the body optimize these states and move into a catabolic state a little easier during the day and maybe move into an anabolic state a little easier at night, then we can really optimize the way the body is functioning. So when we look at our list and we see poached and soft boiled eggs, these seem to have a pro-anabolic effect on most people. So if we eat these in the morning when we're supposed to be more catabolic, we're actually working against the body's circadian rhythm. Now, interestingly enough, with eggs, if the yolk is cooked hard, it seems to have more of a pro-catabolic effect. So somebody eating scrambled eggs or hard-boiled eggs in the morning would be working with the body's natural circadian rhythm. But with things like poached or soft-boiled eggs where the yolk is still runny, it's more beneficial to eat those at night when the body is supposed to be in a more anabolic state. Things like butter, and heavy cream and ice cream, all very pro-anabolic things. Maybe that's why so many people like to have ice cream at night before they go to bed. Uh, vinegar also has the ability to be very pro-anabolic for a lot of people. Cheese also has the ability to be pro-anabolic, and so do things with sugar in them, and also like juice and soda. All those seem to have a pro-anabolic effect on most people. And that might make ice cream that has both the heavy cream and the sugar like a double whammy and really pushing somebody more into that anabolic state. But when you're understanding how to work with your body instead of against it, we understand that, wow, some of these foods might be really beneficial to eat more at night. I'm not telling you to eat ice cream and sugar every night. We know that that's not really super beneficial. But for some folks, these things have the ability to push a person more into that anabolic state and help the body's natural circadian rhythm. Now, if you're really stuck in a catabolic severe state, then eating any of these foods any time of the day might make you feel a little bit better. But when we're looking at really optimizing how the body's working, if we can eat these later in the day, it may be more beneficial for some people. Again, if somebody's imbalanced in either area, then all of a sudden the timing of some of these foods becomes very important, 
where if someone's really moving back and forth from these states like the body should and they're doing okay in that area, then eating some of these foods at the wrong time is probably not going to create any trouble for them. Now chapter 15 of my book, Kick Your Fat in the Nuts, goes into some other foods that may have a little bit more of a pro-anabolic or pro-catabolic effect. And I'll put a link in the description below where you can get the whole book totally for free and you can just jump to chapter 15 if you want to learn a little bit more about this. And if you want to learn more about how some supplements can have a similar effect, we'll put a link in the description below on our videos for avoid these supplements in the morning and avoid these supplements at night. And if you haven't seen it already, jump over right now and check out our video on foods you should avoid at night. And if you've seen that already, check out our video on how to know if your circadian rhythm is off. I can't wait to hear about your results.